So, like I mentioned, uh, today's table topics involve a lot of questions. Um, Phrase from everybody that has, that has kids, like, uh, oh, you don't know how it feels, uh, and uh, you hear, no, no, what I care about is is for this kid to come healthy, right? And you hear from everybody, but once it's not until the moment that you feel it that you really understand how important that is and puts life into perspective. It's the most important thing for me. It's okay, don't worry about it. Mistakes are really beneficial for 
learning what not to do and it, you're not going to be able to improve if you don't try something and make mistakes. But there's no denying that when you make a mistake, you're uncomfortable, and that discomfort is enough to deter most people from even trying in the most difficult things. So it's important to uh, tell yourself beforehand that it's worth trying, it's worth making the mistake, and it's worth living with the mental scar if it gives you the opportunity to grow and reach new heights. Thank you. So I think we've all watched the movie Matrix. We watched the movie. What, what was that movie in the Jim Carrey finds out he's a character? Is that? Truman Show. Truman, Truman Show. Show. Yes. Yeah. So this, you know, this is a very, very interesting concept. Now, what if you suddenly find out that the world that you're living in is not real? You just, you just come to that realization that it's all fake. And that would be devastating. And then, it's fake, and on top of that, you are not the hero in your own story, right? You, you just find out that you are some kind of a side role, someone who's not important. Maybe there's someone that's more important than you in that whole story, but can you change it? Right? I mean, how does it all play out? And it is, it is very interesting. And if I came to the realization that I'm not the main person in a, in a story and it's all fake, does it even matter? Thank you. When I walk up, I wanted to use the word tardy. I wanted to use it, but I forgot. But Telling her brother, I've seen Stacy's cat, you have it. I'm like, 
eventually can come over too. So my advice is, it's okay to make, when you're older, to make whatever life decisions you want to make. Anyways, thanks a lot. Oh, oh yeah. yes, uh, one more. <laughs> we could do two. Guess who basically signed up? <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing you under the bus, Bill. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Yay! Yay! barbecue there, it's nothing like Texas. Um, we didn't have places like Franklin's or Rudy's or, or Black's. Um, and I got here and somebody, the first thing they said is, you've got to try some barbecue. I'm like, I've, we've had barbecue. Like just, it, Southern California barbecue is taking a brisket and putting it in an oven, okay? And like, it's good, don't get me wrong, it's good. But like, if you've never had something that's been slow smoked, and you know, and you're coming from Southern California, you're like, this is amazing. What is this? Uh, I think the other thing I would miss a lot about uh, Texas is that it's, it's a different kind of vibe. Coming, again, growing up in Los Angeles, there's a lot of live music as well and stuff like that, but it's just a, it's a, almost a friendlier atmosphere. Uh, it's, it's kind of a, a light, more of a laid back, uh, fun, uh, experience here. Uh, tech, uh, in California, it can be kind of serious, um, and uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to make it to the big time. It seems like, and again, we're not saying that people aren't ambitious here as well, but um, it just feels a lot more laid back, like they're enjoying themselves. This is not just a step that they're trying to do to make it to the, to the big time or whatever. And so, yeah, I, I, I like kind of the, the, the sort of a small town Austin atmosphere, although it's not that small. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thanks everyone for participating in the table topics. I'll give the room to Sheepo.